are you out of your mind? Hi adults, welcome back and if you are new, hello, my name is Jesse, and today we are going to react to season two, episode seven of Pen15 opening night. Before we do, don't forget to throw a like up or a dislike if you do or do not like what you see. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of this episode. Subscribe if you have not yet, we do fun things here. Ring a ling a ling the bell to be notified when I upload new videos and check the link down in the description for my Patreon. $5 a month, $1.25 a week, all of my unedited reactions and more. But without further ado, this is mid-season finale! It's like finale day. I did the finale of season 10 Walking Dead, the mid-season finale of season 5 Riverdale, now I'm doing the mid-season finale of Pen15. I just realized that. This is season 2, episode 7 of Pen15, opening night. Okay, so I said that I didn't want that already, so... But this is to remind you that you sparkle. Okay, cool, whatever. Thank you. Give me a hug. You know what, I don't want a hug. I don't want a hug, I'm like... You look beautiful, sweetie. The mother's starting to feel it now, because now she's siding with her father. I don't blame her. Deborah. Divorce. Deborah. Oh my gosh. You're gonna divorce me? Now. You're gonna feed me to the wolves? I break a leg. Oh. Um, thank you. Uh, you look you so too. creepy with the aging uh, marks. You should totally keep your hair like that. He can tell that Gabe's going through some stuff. Oh, I need to go back uh, wait, away. Wait. Places in five. I can't wait for people to see this. I have my headphones on. I didn't hear from you last I night. I didn't hear from you either. Like, bet me up. Just say, like, break a leg, whatever. What? You haven't said that once to me. Your feelings are valid. Mm -hmm. So are mine. Now I'm going to be really bad in the play, but it's fine. Let's just hold each other's hands. She can say the same thing to Anna, and she's not. Four minutes and 32 seconds into the play. It's our kiss. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Shut up. I can't wait to see the parents' reactions. You're nuts. Sheila was backing away from you. You're hairier than a Bigfoot. <laughs> I don't have to listen to you loud my I Just know. let me do my business. The props are yeah. going crazy. <laughs> oh my god, this is so awkward. Aw, poor Maya. Oh, what? Save it, Maya, save it. Come on, this is your big moment. Do something amazing. You're a good actor. You won't know what hit ya! <laughs> so weird sometimes. I love it, but like, what is going on right now? The actors worked with the techie. I'm her father. Please. You were amazing. First out. Um, I don't know, sweetie. I'll... Glitter I gave you. Yeah, I used it. <laughs> Mom, are you out of your mind? So loud. Oh, I don't want that thing. Like... Hey, <laughs> what does Sam have to say about this? One, two, three, grandkids. Dad, don't say that. Like. Yeah, all right, all right. Okay. Dad, don't or I'll stick an ice pick up your butthole! Stop! Is it my breath? That's good. <laughs> no, no, really. Oh good. my god! He was probably nervous too. I think that you just gotta do it again. Neither of them really want this kiss. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in a sec. So I'm gonna say. You were, you, I, you were just really good in the play. Thanks. I'm really sorry about everything. I'm with Gabe, we're celebrating. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your boyfriend. I wouldn't have put my hand over my mouth. I guess I should have auditioned. So. Aww, so I don't know, so maybe. Cute. He's putting his it heart out there. Good. And there was yeah, this Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Did you get a new car? <laughs> new, absolutely. So you oh missed... my God. Just uh, that's don't drive that it too far. That's weird that you missed that to get a new car. Oh, Convertible, and we were gonna like, <laughs> yeah. check it out. You did. Do you wanna come? Oh, yeah. yeah. Room for one, Maya's boyfriend. Sorry. That's, stuff. That's some bullshit. Yeah, right? Yeah. They do some really <gasps> stupid oh mean guys and they start? just don't realize no, it. No, it's the deep. <laughs> What's up? You see oh, outside in here. the dark. <laughs> so many stars. Yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> it's true. 
Um, are you close with your mom? Strongest woman I know. He kind of is like a male Anna. They're very They're similar. Divorced. She heard the music though, which means she still yeah, crushing on Brand. That's <laughs> my jaw. When we sort of kissed in my room, you had butterflies. I I didn't. I'm sorry. It's okay. She's gonna think it's her, obviously, but it's not, and we know that. Oh, Maya. Oh, I know I'm ugly now. Don't say that. It's not true. The brightest one that's a little droopy, that's you. <laughs> All the stars are dead. They're still bright even at their lowest, just like you. <laughs> hmm. oh my God. The girl's ready to go. I'm sorry that, that I'm, like, kind of not nice to you sometimes. It's okay. No, it's not, because you don't deserve it. I'm sorry that, like, Dad's not nice to you sometimes. Aww. What Anna's doing right now, I, apologizing, I even, doing the right thing, she needs like, to do for Anna, and she never does. Like, thanks for the glitter. <laughs> Seriously. You were so great tonight. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. Aww. Oh, yeah. You look at me. Did your mom tell you? Hmm. She's getting the house? You'll have to decide who you want to live with. All right, so there it is, the mid-season finale, and I must say, I wasn't in love with it. It was a good episode, but for a mid-season finale... I felt like it could have been stronger. I felt like they could have did a lot more with the play. That whole dance sequence with everybody, I get what they were trying to do. They were trying to show the two parallels of the techies and the actors and how if they danced in sequence and together, everything would just flow and be better if they worked together. But it was a little too long. It was a little too weird. I almost forgot I didn't even mention this in the last reaction. In the last episode, the scene where Maya like suckles from her from Anna's nipple. I love this show, and I, one of the things I love about it is that it's a little weird and quirky, a little weird, it's very weird and quirky, and it takes that like extra step that most shows don't take just to be a little extra crazy, you know, it shocks you kind of. That was like a little too far though, this is the, they've done, it was like OG John, the OG John episode that scarred me, that, that episode was actually really funny, it was hysterical, but it was littered with things that made you feel a little uncomfortable also. That scene was just like, what? Like at least OG John, that whole thing had to do with the episode. I get that they were trying to show that like Maya relies on Anna too much and Anna's always guiding Maya and they need to kind of do their own thing to be their own people but that was like a little much it was a little graphic <laughs> and so it's just weird things like that I feel like this episode was the dance thing during the play like they could have did something funnier I have I have more faith in these writers because I've seen them pull it off skillfully so I feel like they could have done something that made a little more sense that was a little more funny but uh overall again it was it was a good episode I don't like that they ended it that sad though I mean Anna broke my heart. What is going on between her parents? They've been showing it and portraying it so well and explaining how each person feels so well, but I think it would have been a little better if Anna's mom took a little bit more responsibility and a little more credit for how they have been treating Anna during this whole thing. The father has, they've had conversations where that's been talked about. He also does need to do a little bit of a better job, but at least he acknowledges it, and I feel like Anna's mom never does. So the whole thing where Anna's going to her and apologizing, yes, that was good. That was very mature because a lot of teenage girls get into fights with their parents, yell at their parents. Teenagers in general or angsty, they're teenage angst at that t at that age. So her going to her mom and apologizing, being like, I yell at you for no reason sometimes, and I'm sorry. That was beautiful. That was awesome. At the same time, it would have been nice for her mom to be like, I should be there more for you while this whole thing is going on, you know? And and I, she hasn't. She hasn't expressed that yet. So I, I wish we get that for the next few episodes. Um, the father's going to have to find an apartment. He said you're going to have to figure out which one you want to live with. I mean, he, she can live with both, but it's kind of like what, Mr. Bruce Lee fan was talking about, I forget his name, in where his parents are divorced and he, you know, was sharing on the weekends and stuff like that. And she's like, well, they both share a house right now. And he's like, that sounds better than get, seeing 
getting shared custody on the weekends or something like that. So that's going to be happening if she doesn't want to decide that she wants to stay in one place. Maya getting dumped by Gabe. I saw that coming. I feel bad for her. I wish that Gabe gave a little more indication as to why. However, it is Maya, so it's probably a good idea that he didn't because... Last time Maya was asked to keep a secret, she literally immediately went and told everybody at the party. So, Brant, we saw a glimpse of him. I have a feeling that that is going, something big is going to happen with Brant again. Because, or not, but that wasn't Brant. That was, um, oh my gosh. Brant's the one that Maya likes. I can't remember his name. The quiet, quiet silent type. The Anna likes, I forget his name, but him, that was him. I feel like, like, I thought they were trying to show that she was digging the guy that she was doing the play with. I feel like he's going to come back and he's going to be a bad influence on her because he was drinking and stuff. She's going to confide in him, I think, because she can relate to him considering his parents are going through the same situation that her parents are going through. And I think she's going to start drinking and doing bad things. And then that kid's going to go to the side and be forgotten and say, oh, my poor Sam. My poor, lovely, lovely Sam. This kid is being honest. He's putting his feelings out there. He's telling it like it is. He's like, Maya, hey, listen, this is the deal. And she's just not picking it up. Diaper 911 is not, she doesn't care. I know she really likes Sam. I know it. So I think now that this whole Gabe thing ended, I think that she we're going to get a little more out of the Sam and Maya relationship. It's going to turn into something else not just a friendship. It's going to be more than a friendship because I think that they're going to pick up on Gabe and his situation and why he broke up with Maya. I hope he starts to open up a little bit more and feel more comfortable with who he is because he's clearly deflecting and hiding and that makes me sad. I want happiness for him. So I think there's going to be changes with him. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm talking too long. That's my cue. And I think there's going to be changes with Sam and Maya, but good episode overall. It wasn't my favorite of the season so far, but it was a good episode. Everyone throw a like up or dislike. If you do or do not like what you see, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode. And if you thought it was a strong mid-season finale, subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring a ling a ling the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. It is $5 a month. That's $1.25 a week. And it has all of my unedited reactions to Pen15 Season 1, Season 2 and more. But that's it. So long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye!